they are, and if you don't pay attention to them properly, then things are going to fall apart around you in a way that you just can't even imagine. And so, well, then you're sort of like your own widow and your own orphan, but you don't get to say, hey, look, you know, things aren't perfect yet because I'm actually having still quite a rough time here. You don't get to admit to your own suffering. If you can't admit to your own suffering, then you certainly... See, the suffering, the, especially the additional suffering, the excess suffering, should be treated as evidence that you're not doing something quite right yet. It should be treated as evidence that you're wrong. There's something important that you're doing that's wrong. I understand how harsh that is. And I'm not saying that everyone who's suffering is suffering because they're doing something in some simple way that's wrong. I was in an elevator once in a hospital. It's a very terrifying thing. And this person got on who was just in an absolute state of shock. You know, I mean, it was really not good. And I don't remember how this happened, but I engaged the person in conversation, and they just said that they had just been diagnosed with what looked to be terminal cancer. And uh, what was horrifying about it was that what they were doing was going over their life in the elevator, trying to figure out what they had done in order to deserve such a fate. You know, they had immediately taken it on themselves as a moral failing. And that's not what I'm saying. You can't come up to someone who has cancer and say, well, if you weren't such a bloody idiot throughout your whole life, you wouldn't have cancer. And believe me, that happens a lot more than you think. And people who have diseases like that get blamed for it. That's not what I'm saying. It's not like that. It's, 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 it's a more generalized attitude that is that if life isn't yet what it should be, then you have a response. You have a primary responsibility to do something about it. And the place to start looking is to your own errors and to fix them. And that's, and that's, that's, that's a safe bet, man, because you're probably doing some things that you would, wouldn't have to be doing that if you fixed would make things better. So it's time to let go and to sacrifice who you are for who you could become.